Okay, YouTube, it's Wow Sly here. I uh, haven't done a, a stupid video in a long time. A couple of years it's been since I've made a pointless video. So I'm going to do something very stupid. I've got this old extension lead that I used to use in the office just to run lamps. Uh, it's very thin cable. I wouldn't recommend running anything more than a small appliance off it. Um... And uh, yeah, I've just took the plug off it, and I've got this uh, five meters of sort of heavier cable, as you can see. It's a lot, lot thicker the black stuff. So the black stuff, um, it's got a 13 amp plug on both ends now. There we go. That's a really old plug. Um, but yeah, both plugs work. Um, both got 13 amp fuses in it and what we're going to do with experiment today this is a case of a do as i say not do as i do okay i'm going to do this so you don't have to this is a 7.2 amp 12 volt battery you've seen it in my other videos i use it for testing out some of my solar stuff i use it for testing out radios uh sometimes i take it out with the radios to power the radios well here we have the thousand watt inverter I bought. Um, I reckon it's not a thousand. It's not fully tested. I reckon it's probably between three fifty and six fifty. I don't think it's a thousand. Um, but what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it by untangling the little jumper leads. I'm gonna connect it to. 12 volt battery. We know this works because uh, I've done something very similar to this on another video when I first bought it. I tested it out. There we go. The fans working. The lights are on, and uh, we tested it out. It runs a uh, the widescreen TV. It runs the fridge freezers. Um, <sighs> haven't actually tested it to run the PC yet. Uh, so what I'm going to do, obviously, I've got my uh, double-ended jumper lead. I'm going to plug it into the mains and see how much of the house it will run. I'm going to turn the power off at the mains and turn off the fridge freezers. Um, everything in the living room, standard stuff, TV, video, well not video, TV, DVD, console, um, everything in the bedrooms, TVs and um, virgin boxes. All the appliances are on standby. They're not turned off at the wall. The only wall items i'm going to turn off are going to be the fridge freezers and uh the cooker so i'm going to plug this 30 quid's worth of i think it was 30 quid 25 30 quid cheapy ebay thousand watt inverter i should be using at least 100 amp hours but i'm using 7.2 um just to see really what actually happens so we're here in the uh Cupboard under the stairs. All the kids' toys. Uh, there's a main breaker box. Ooh, that one says main. Main switch. That one says on. That's for the shower. So I'm actually going to turn the shower off. And we've got lights, sockets, cookers. So everything should be off. That's the main breaker. So we'll turn the main breaker off. The main breaker is off. Um, I'm going to turn that one back on. So the shower is off. Although I think I've just heard a phone bleep. Oh no, that's to say that, yeah, the cordless phones are bleeping now to say that the power's off. <laughs> Fucking kids toys. So, the normal fuses, fuse box is switched on. The main breaker is off. Something like that. Okay, this is weird. The main, I have no idea what that's for, but it says on, up, off, down. I'll turn that down for off, and behind me in the living room, I can see the TV and Virgin still on.
flick it up. To the on position and everything's switched. Still switched on. Right, I don't get that. Right, I'll turn off that box. That's it, I can hear the freezers are switched off now in the air. Turn that down just to make sure. Right, that's off, although I don't trust that. Uh, and that should be the main breaker for the house. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh, this must be an old one. It says lights, sockets, cooker. And that one says front bedroom, kitchen, heater. Oh, I'm guessing this was put in when the gas was took out the house, so they put in electric heaters. So that will do half the house. Shut up, toys. And now I'll do the other half the house. So they're both off. Yep, all lights are off there. Uh, yep, all the lights are off there. And that's all off. And the little red light is off. No bubbles coming out of the fish. And the freezers are definitely off because I can't hear them. Yep, fridges are off, no light. And no camera trickery. This is the lead here. I'm gonna plug that in to what would normally be the washing machine behind the microwave. Um, that's for one of my handsets, that's for the DAB washing machine, fish tank, microwave, landline phone. So it's quite a busy little socket this one. Um, now this end, this end's going in the converter, inverter, sorry, inverter. That's plugged into the inverter. Um, next to the cooker, under the kitchen cupboard, I do have a, a dry powder. I think it's fire extinguisher. That's turned on. Now apparently, if we turn this on. I don't know what's working, we'll turn that on. Ooh, the phone's come on. Um, that's a good sign. And there's bubbles starting to come out the fish tank. We'll come back to that because it always takes forever. The light's on. And all this is on. Yeah, I do keep pausing the video, but um, again, we're halfway through moving and normal house. I've got a pile of iron in sitting there. All right, the TV works, the fridge works, the fish tank works. Um, let's try. The light. Every time I flick something on, the inverter bleeps. Wow, the lights work. And that is actually all running off the inverter. As you see, that's still off. That's off. And that's off. So the inverter. Hello, kids' toys. Again, boxes. Packed up, ready to move. I'm about to move the ironing board because that normally sits behind there and both freezers are turned on as you see we've got two two fridge freezers um, standard pile of washing kids clothes next to the machine and bubbles coming out of Bob's thing Bob needs a clean um, but fuck me mm -hmm. the thousand watt inverter on that 12 volt battery is actually running my house. I, I mean, I thought it would do, but I reckon I've, oh, I should have bought the voltage reader out, it's in the shed. Um, I wonder how dramatically the voltage is dropping on that. It was 14 volts when I pulled it out the shed. Um, still got a bit of sunlight outside. Um, so it was, yeah, the charge controller light was flashing to say it was fully charged and the charge controller was shut down um, so I decided to bring this in um, 
that battery is always in line with the other batteries. I got given another one of these the other day, but I think it was only three, four amp uh, amp hours. Uh, that's always on charge too, so I've always got batteries charged up for testing and taking the radios out. But I'm actually running my house um, off a 7.2 amp battery. Definitely no camera trickery, because well, I'll show you. Watch the light on the charger. On if I flick that off. Um, no, I'll do it this way. I'll flick off the inverter. That way you can see. There you go, always bleeps when we turn it off. And the bubbles have stopped. Sweet. Brilliant. Well, a thousand watt inverter is running my house off a 12 volt battery. 7.2 amp funky we like it it's always nice to know so if you ever have a power cut get one of them and one of them and you may be able to run your house for about 10 minutes it's 10 to 6 I might actually leave it on and see how long because I think that shuts off when the battery gets to about 10 or 11 volts I can't remember I've got it written down somewhere but yeah, they've all got safety, so if there's too much power going in or too much, not enough coming out, they do shut off. So it'll be interesting to see how long it lasts. Ooh, might help if I point it at the bloody box. But everything's running. I'm not going to turn the heaters on because they're all electric heaters. Um, that'd be crazy. Does the Wii work? Hey, <laughs> hey, the Wii works. Uh, just for the record, I hate Wii. I've never played it and won't play it. I've played the bowling a couple of times. I have an Xbox. I don't do Wiis. I don't even know if sockets plug that's that one. I think. Sweet, the Wii works. Well, there you go. Can run my house. Two fridge freezers, TVs, um, the Virgin, the fish tank. Um, can run it all off. Oop, better turn the bubbles back on. Sorry, Bob. Um, yeah. There you go, got some bubbles over there. Bob, you need a clean, mate. Sort it out. <sighs> I'm going to give that one a thumbs up. But I seriously don't try, right, recommend trying this. It's just not safe. But fuck it, it still works. Anyway, this ludicrous video is brought to you by Wow Sly. Um, Please do not try this at home video. Just a little experiment. Anyone that is actually wanting to buy a thousand watt inverter. Um, yes, it will run two fridge freezers, a fish tank, a TV, a couple of virgin boxes, and whatever else is switched on in the house. I don't know. Um, but I really wouldn't recommend using that battery. It's been going for five minutes. And I wouldn't let it run any longer actually. Oh, that's it. I'm going to turn it off. It's starting to click. I think the voltage has already dropped down from 14 volts to like, I don't know, whatever it's close to switching this off anyway. So there's just not enough amp hours. But if you are thinking about getting a 1000 watt, there's the proof it does work.